Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment. And today I thought I would just work a little bit drawing um, in the middle of Sketch Timber, which is draw a sketch every day in the month of September. And I thought I would talk a little bit about charcoal. Um, I just think that the charcoal medium is one of the coolest ones because it's been around for so long. So like historically and traditionally, you mix that with the inspiration. And I just think it's fantastic that people still do it. And I'm still in the throes of purchasing some that um, I want to get back into. But like historically, you know, caves in France, and I believe there's one in Nambla, they did like a zebra. It's one of the oldest charcoal drawings. And they're typically, you know, local animals that are being drawn. And I just, that's fascinating to me. And I know that um, originally it was burned sticks, you know, and now we bind it with wax or gum. And sometimes we put it in a pencil and surround it with wood and you know, the vine charcoals traditionally made with grape vine and that's put into a kiln where all the air is taken out. And willow charcoal is made from willow sticks that's put into a kiln without air. And these things are still traditionally made and used and Originally, you know, and you look in the Renaissance and things like that, they were just made for outlining murals and paintings, and they still have evidence of that when they look at these artists' pictures and paintings. They can find the original chalk outlines. And it wasn't until, like, Albrecht Dürer started doing just whole paintings with charcoal that it became its own actual medium. And I think that's so awesome. There's some amazing creators here on YouTube that just do beautiful, beautiful things with charcoal. And it's such a source of inspiration. And oh, I'm so here for it. And you know you can make your own. <laughs> so harvest some sticks from your yard and you peel all the bark off. You probably need a knife and you put it in an, an almost airtight container. So find some sort of metal can with a lid situation and you'll want to punch like a hole in the top and put your freshly cleaned sticks in and then you'll want to put it over an open fire whether that's you know a bonfire or something in your fireplace and you'll want to cook it and heat and things is going to come out the top and once you sort of <laughs> you sort of make your own little mini flamethrower um, <laughs> because you need all the carbon to be you need everything to be evaporated and that comes out the top and it takes you know about 45 minutes an hour for that to happen and once nothing is coming out of the hole in the top of the can in your fire anymore um, you can take it out, be super, super careful, use metal tongs, and wait for that to cool down entirely. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly hot. And then open it up, and you will have vine charcoal, and I just think that's fantastic. So if you're in a pinch, and you're in a budget, and you just are into, like, DIYing all your stuff, you can make your own vine charcoal. And I think that's amazing. Um, for the compressed charcoal, I know that that's, you know, organic ground material that's been bound together with gum or wax, and they just eliminate all the oxygen from the creation process to to make that happen and I just oh that's so cool 
How's your sketch temper going? <laughs> Are you having fun sketching? I'm seeing some people like have trouble and drop out and they're kind of all done and I don't know if it's burnout or what's going on. Don't give up. I'm here with you. Anyway, you know they have those caves in France, the, I believe it's the Naki, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, from 1602, and there's an Ibex, which is, you know, a horned animal. And I just, it'd be so much fun to go see some of those original cave paintings and stuff. To see the original charcoal drawings, travel the world, see the things. That'd be amazing. And traditionally, you know, it was meant for like broad strokes and movement rather than linear precision. But the things I'm seeing people create with charcoal just puts that sort of original popular idea to rest. I'm seeing people create fantastic lines and with the charcoal pencils, you know, using a paintbrush or a Q-tip or some of these other little tricks. And I can link to some videos where people talk about tips and stuff for, you know, having a hand guard so you don't wipe your hand through your charcoal and making sure, you know, you're able to sort of create the lines you want to create you either using like negative space or through illustration making sure you get the full value range of darks and lights there's just some beautiful things being created online and I'm just so here for it I think that's great but um, yeah I wish I wish there was a way to create my own charcoal pencil <laughs> I have no way to compress charcoal at home. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's full of inspiration, ideas, creation, and other wonderful things. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.